In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up ambient occlusion in a web browser. Ambient occlusion can make 3D scenes look more realistic. It's a shading and rendering technique. Screen space ambient occlusion works well with real-time processing used in a web browser. Change Blender Render to Blend for Web and click Set Recommended Options. Press S to Scale 4 and Enter. In Object Properties, set the Z Scale to 0 0.02. Add Mesh Monkey in the Modifiers panel. Add a subdivision surface modifier and change shading to smooth. In the view menu, toggle quad view. And in the right window, zoom in with the mouse wheel. Hold down the mouse button and drag on the X rotation to rotate the head. Drag on the Z location to move the head up. Click on the triangles to nudge the value of the X rotation. And click on the triangles to nudge the Z value so that the head is just touching the surface. Click the material button Click the Browse Material button, select the Cubes Material, click the Diffuse Colour and put the red, green and blue values full on. And in the View menu, toggle out of Quad View. Set the X location of the monkey to 1.6. Duplicate, hold down Shift, press D and enter and set the X location of the duplicate to minus 1.6. In the world properties, turn environmental lighting on and set the energy to 0.8. The ambient occlusion effect only works with objects that are set to receive shadows. Select the flattened cube and click receive shadows. To turn ambient occlusion for a web browser on, in the render properties click ambient occlusion and open up the panel. I'm going to increase the influence to 1 to make the effect stronger. Before I click Fast Preview, I'm going to click Enable Synchronization so that each time I preview the scene, it's opened in a new browser tab. Click Fast Preview. We get ambient occlusion in real time in a web browser window. We see the effect on the flattened cube and on the monkey that we set to receive shadows. In the Blender manual, in the post-processing effects section, they describe the additional settings which I'm going to look at next. The first additional setting that I'm going to change is the radius increase, which I'm going to change from 3 to 10 and click Fast Preview. Comparing with the result for the value of 3, there is a bigger shadow area. One of the reasons why computer generated graphics can look unrealistic is because they are too perfect. The ambient occlusion with a radius increase of 3 gives a nice grungy appearance. With a radius increase setting of 10, you get a less grungy effect, but you get a nice diffuse shadow effect. The distance factor is how much the ambient occlusion decays with distance. If I set the value to 3 and click Fast Preview, it reduces the effect with distance, so it reduces the strength 
of the diffuse shadow. Going back to Blender and resetting the distance factor. With samples, the higher the number, the better the quality, but the longer the processing time. But I found a high number cleaned up the effect. So setting the number of samples to 8 and clicking Fast Preview, we get a darker, grungier appearance than with 16 samples. Going back to the manual, the Use Hemisphere setting, the manual says it uses a different shading law. So putting it on and clicking Fast Preview, we get a cleaner effect with a distinct diffuse shadow. I didn't find that the blur depth settings made any difference, but it still leaves you with plenty of settings to experiment with. Blend for Web provides an example ambient occlusion project. The Blender file can be found in the Blend for Web folder, the Blender folder, the Post Processing folder, and the file is SSAO. To see the settings that they use, change Blender Render to Blend for Web, click the Render Properties, scroll down and open up the Ambient Occlusion panel. You can see Ambient Occlusion in the 3D view. They have turned it on. Their scene is a little bit better than mine. Going back to Blender, I'll turn Ambient Occlusion on in the 3D view window. Click the plus to open up the Properties panel. Scroll down and click Ambient Occlusion. And there are new settings to play with. But they are only cosmetic. They will not affect the scene that is exported. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the file made in the tutorial for you to download at my website. To visit my website, click the eye icon in the top right hand corner. If you'd like to subscribe, click the stick man. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the patron link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.